Hi everyone, I'm David from Edge Impulse, and in this quick video, I'm going to show you how to perform visual anomaly detection running directly on this Thundercom Rubik Pi 3. I've covered this device before, but as a quick recap, it's powered by the Qualcomm Dragonwing 6490 SoC, an 8-core CPU with a hexagon NPU, making it great for Edge AI applications. Now, you might be wondering, what is visual anomaly detection? Well, manufacturers often inspect their products for quality. Usually, that's just a visual check to see if a product looks right. Visual anomaly detection brings that concept to computer vision, measuring how much something deviates from a known good item. As a simple example, if I'm a manufacturer of concrete blocks, I would know what a good block looks like. Quick side note, these miniature versions are much easier to handle and demo than full-size concrete blocks. But we can see here, this looks like a good block. This is a good block. Now, this one has some pitting on it. This one has a scratch, and so on. Now, let's dive into Edge Impulse to show how we can automate this inspection with AI. The first thing we need to do is build a data set. To do that, we'll collect pictures of good blocks, since we want to measure deviation from known good examples. I collected 145 pictures in this project, which was enough to get started, but as usual, more data is better when it comes to models. Next, I drew my bounding boxes around the blocks and built my impulse. You can see here I have visual anomaly detection chosen, then I'll extract features, and finally, I'll build my model. Now over on the Rubik Pi, I installed the Edge Impulse Linux runner following the instructions on our docs page for the board, which was straightforward. With that installed, I launch the Edge Impulse Linux runner command and choose my project. The model that we built will be downloaded and inference will start, all running locally now on the Rubik Pi. The runner will also give us a view of a camera that's attached to the Rubik Pi with a heat map overlay. These red squares that we can see are the areas where deviation is occurring. So if we take one of the good blocks and place it under the camera, we shouldn't see much red. But if we take one of the blocks with a defect on it, we should get the anomalies highlighted on the block. If you work for a company that manufactures products, hopefully that gives you some ideas or insights about how you can incorporate these kinds of techniques in your production lines. As always, if you have any questions, just reach out to us. See you in the next one.